Hi, I'm Kelly Craning, the National Sales Manager for Carver Yachts, located at our shipyard in Pulaski, Wisconsin. And welcome to the Miami International Boat Show. I'm standing on a Carver C-52 flybridge right now. Uh, back here on the transom of the boat, we have a hydraulic swim platform as an option. Um, Coming over here to the port side is where we have all of our water connections, and we also have a hand shower back here with hot and cold water. Moving over to the starboard side is where we do all of our electrical connections. Uh, we have our cable master cords down below, and we have our main breakers here, and our cable master controls inside of this compartment. Uh, another nice feature is we have an optional crew quarters in the boat, or we can convert that space into just a large storage area. We have an access hatch that's back here on the transom that'll allow you to get inside of there. Um, we can also access the space from the cockpit, uh, which gives you a little more safety if you need to get at something in there while the boat is underway. So it's a great space, lots of bulk storage inside of here, you can't have enough storage. Continuing on, uh, up until the cockpit of the boat, lots of storage inside of here, lots of seating also. We have a couple of very large storage buckets underneath the port and starboard outboard seats. Uh, these buckets, the seats lift up to give you access inside of there. They're wet storage compartments, um, so you can put things like fenders and lines, things that get messy, you can keep them in there and dedicate them into that space without getting them into the rest of your provisions. Uh, we have a nice teak cockpit table back here. Uh, table folds over that allows you to get at the access for inside that storage room that we spoke of earlier. And back here in the cockpit, um, we have an ice maker. We also have an option for a refrigerator. If you don't take either one of those options, uh, that'll give you additional storage here inside the cockpit. Now, let's take a walk up to the foredeck of the boat. Welcome to the foredeck. This is a great spot to hang out on the C-52 command bridge. We have two nice lounge seats up here. You can also lay across it if you want to use this as a sun pad area. Uh, we have a separate stereo system that's up here for entertainment, uh, some cup holders, uh, just a nice spot to hang out. Also, you have your rope locker access up here uh, if you need to get at the chain inside the boat or anything on your windlass. And you can also use that for fender storage inside. It's a nice big compartment. So just a nice spot to hang out, have a cup of coffee in the morning or a cocktail in the afternoon. So nice, comfortable spot. Um, so come and check one out. So. Uh, You've seen the cockpit, you've seen the foredeck. Let's go inside of the boat and check some things out. One nice feature to take note of on the carver um, is our entry into the galley, into the aft galley in here. We have one pass-through door that opens up. A uh, nice big wide open door here to make coming in and out easy. And also, these doors do fold in half also to help bring the outside inside the boat. So it's a nice area to entertain then. Uh, we have an aft galley back here, fully equipped galley. Uh, refrigerator freezer on both the starboard side and the second refrigerator freezer over here on the port side. Again, to give you enough capacity on board the boat. Uh, you combine those with the added ice maker and optional refrigerator in the cockpit, you have a lot of room for provisions to make a nice long trip on the boat without having to run to the store. Once you get inside the galley here also, you have a microwave convection oven, your two burner range. We do have an option for a dishwasher in here. We can also do an optional wine cooler inside of the boat. Um, again, lots of storage that we have, uh, nice deep drawers over here that come out and also give us trash storage inside of here. Um, and then an additional drawer up here uh, for utensils, um, just utility stuff that you can put inside the boat. Um, again, continuing forward here, a couple steps up and we're in the raised salon level inside the boat. Uh, have nice opposing seating area, two big lounges, nice and comfortable, great for entertaining. Uh, the table here in the dinette is a high-low table through the telescoping pedestal. That table will go down. Then we have a standard filler cushion that comes along with that. So you can also sleep guests up here. Uh, you got blinds throughout the salon, um, so you can close this space up uh, to give you a lot of privacy if you do have guests staying on board up here. So here we are in the forward stateroom 
in the C-52 command bridge. This space is actually the VIP stateroom. It has its own uh, access to an in-suite head and shower stall in here. Uh, nice size queen mattress in here. Uh, mattresses throughout the boat are all inner spring mattresses, so it'll give you a nice comfortable night's sleep in here. Um, mini blinds on both sides of that pull down. We also have for your deck hatch here, you have a screen or a darkening shade that'll pull um, to be able to close it up in here and give you a good night's sleep inside the boat. We also do have optional television, Blu-ray player, and stereo in the space, plus a nice hanging locker behind me. This particular boat, um, we have a cherry wood interior inside of it with a little bit of a darker stain on it. And this one also has a high gloss finish on it. We'll build the boat in either a high gloss or a satin wood finish inside. Um, we'll do that obviously here in this Carver C-52 Command Bridge and in any of our other Carver models also. We offer that same feature. Um, very well appointed space. Um, good decoration, nice contrast to colors, things like that. Um, one thing to take note of is Carver is a very vertically integrated manufacturer. We make everything in house. So all of the soft goods you see, all of our bedding, our pillows, um, bolsters, basically everything that you see inside of the boat is made at our factory up in Pulaski, Wisconsin. Um, so doing all of this in house uh, helps us control our quality, our cost, and it also allows you to customize things in the boat. So if your personal taste, if you want a different kind of bedspread or different pillows, things like that made in a boat, we do have that ability and we'd love to talk with you about that. So from this space then also continuing over um, onto the starboard side here, we have a twin stateroom over here where we also have an optional washer and dryer installed in there. Um, and again, on the port side of the boat, we have a headroom. Um, with a beautiful shower stall inside. Nice big floor space in there. Uh, good for getting ready in the morning. Um, you're not cramped inside of there. Um, one last thing I'll mention is throughout the boat, you notice we have high ceilings in here. We are a minimum of six foot six everywhere throughout the inside of the boat. So nobody is gonna be ducking to get into a stateroom or to get into bed. Um, you know, you can access the bed. You have nice entryways on both the port and the starboard side in the bed. You're not crawling in from the foot. So again, a great comfortable space. And here I am in our guest stateroom in the C-52 Command Bridge. Uh, this space, we have two berths. Again, we have inner spring mattresses in here. Um, so it's a nice, comfortable space. I can also add an additional filler cushion in here if you want to turn this into a single berth inside. A uh, couple of things to take note of. Uh, nice amount of storage inside of here. In this space, um, we also install an optional washer and a dryer. Uh, they're separate units inside, it's not a combination unit, and it is a vented dryer. Um, so the dryer actually does perform very well inside the boat. Um, again, something that we spoke of earlier, continuing on the theme, we have high ceilings throughout the boat. You know, I guess to take note of that, I'm standing inside of a third stateroom uh, in a 52-foot boat. That's kind of unusual. Um, you're not going to be ducking and sliding down into some kind of a midship cabin here. Um, lots of natural light coming in. Uh, big window over here, opening port installed in it, and there's also a skylight up above us here. Uh, so we're bringing a lot of natural light inside the boat. Um, again, just to give you a bigger, warmer feeling in the space here by bringing in light. Um, we do have an optional television, Blu-ray player, and stereo system that we can install down here. The washer and dryer are installed inside of these cabinets. Again, they're separate units. If you don't uh, opt for the option for the washer and dryer, it just turns into additional storage inside. So great space, uh, really nice space to have guests come on board. So here I am inside the guest head in the C-52 Command Bridge. Um, a great space, a very comfortable space. Um, the head has access, it has a private entry from the VIP stateroom forward, and it also has an entry from the companionway uh, to use this space as a day head. Um, it's a very nice, comfortable, it's a large space. A lot of floor space in here, uh, great place to get ready in the morning. Um, you're not cramped. Um, it's comparable to a lot of owner staterooms in uh, other 50 foot boats, so it's a nice space. Um, you have a great stall shower inside of here, a nice teak seat, a lot of floor space in the shower, um, so you have a lot of room to clean up. Um, nice head, uh, I guess a thing to take note of a lot of in the carvers um, is the location of the head. It actually has a good space. Your knees aren't stuck in a shower stall trying to use it. Um, so it's just a nice comfortable area here inside of the boat. Um, we do have a couple of mirrors inside of here also. I have one up over the top of the vanity, and then I have a nice full length mirror on the companionway door here on the inboard side of it. So great space, uh, worth checking out. So welcome to the master stateroom in the C-52 Command Bridge. Uh, great space down here, a very comfortable space. It's a midship full beam master. 
Uh, have very large windows on both the port and the starboard side, so we're bringing lots of natural light into the space. And we also have opening ports on both the port and the starboard side. So on a nice day, you can open up the ports and get a nice cross flow of fresh air inside the boat. Um, again, continuing our theme, uh, we have inner spring mattresses inside the here. Um, nice comfortable bed to uh, relax and get some rest on. Uh, optional television, Blu-ray player, stereo system installed. Uh, Hanging lockers, um, we have the hanging locker here on the starboard side, nice space. We do also offer an optional additional hanging locker on the port side. Um, drawer storage over on both sides, and we also have a nice lounge seat over to the port side with storage underneath the lounge seat. So again, nice space to hang out at. Um, entry to the master stateroom is through a private staircase that's on the starboard side in the, in the forward end of the galley. So the space affords the owner a lot of privacy inside the boat if they want to escape for a little while and get some rest or just relax. Um, it's a nice space to come into. Plus, if you have additional guests on board the boat who are overnighting, it gives you that separation. Again, nice privacy for the owner inside. Um, moving forward in the area here is your private in-suite head. Um, same, uh, continuing the theme, a very large head. It's a very functional head. Um, great space in there, great floor space in there for getting ready. Um, and we also have uh, a exceptionally nice shower inside of there. Uh, have a rainfall water head in there, a large teak seat, and a hand wash or, and a wand um, installed standard in there. So a great space inside of here. Um, so again, it's nice private entry, um, very comfortable, very roomy, high ceilings throughout. Um, so you're not ducking and we also have a nice level floor inside of here. There's not uh, a lot of level changes inside that you do see in some other uh, midship master boats that are out there in the market. So if you get the opportunity, stop by and see one. Welcome to the flybridge of the Carver C-52 Command Bridge. Uh, great space that we have up here. Um, up on the bridge, we have an optional molded fiberglass hardtop. Uh, we can do enclosures at the factory. This particular boat also has air conditioning up here. Um, we have 24,000 BTUs of air conditioning, so we can cool this space off on a hot summer day when you have the optional door and the enclosure up here on the bridge. Um, nice large lounge seat on the aft. Uh, great big cockpit table, or great big teak table inside of here. Um, so it's a nice spot to entertain and hang out at at the end of the day. We also have an option uh, for an electric grill up here on the bridge. And then we also do additional refrigeration inside of here, uh, just to help uh, make less trips down inside the boat to get things. Uh, moving forward over here, we have a great helm station, a uh, nice comfortable captain's chair, a uh, flip up bolster for standing inside of here. Uh, this particular boat has Ray Marine electronics installed in it. Uh, we do also offer factory Garmin installations too, uh, if you want a different brand in there. Um, this particular boat also does have a Cummings joystick system in here. Um, so it makes maneuvering at the dock much easier and takes all that anxiety out of running the boat. Um, we also have an additional companion seat to the port side. Uh, a nice L-shaped lounge for additional seats here when you're underway uh, so the captain's not stranded up there alone. Um, great visibility from up here. Uh, when you're in the helm seat, uh, you can turn around and get great visibility of the swim platform behind you to make docking a lot easier as you're bringing the boat in. Um, so a nice comfortable spot up here again. A lot of floor space, great for entertaining. Um, it's a great boat. So one more thing I'd like to check out is let's go downstairs and take a look at the engine room. So notice uh, access to the bridge, nice molded fiberglass staircase, good handrails. It's a nice safe passage from the bridge down into the cockpit. Um, no ladders inside the boat, uh, just helps make you and your guests more comfortable when moving around the boat while underway. Uh, one last thing I'd like to show you is our engine compartment in here. Uh, we access the engine compartment from the cockpit. Uh, it is a full standing height engine room down there. Uh, this particular boat has Cummings. Uh, it's uh, 600 horse engines. Uh, the, these Cummings engines get you a cruise of 28 knots. Uh, we're wide open around 31 knots. Uh, this particular boat also we do have a Kohler 23 kilowatt generator in here which is enough power to run everything on board at once. Uh, there's no power management when you're under generator power. Um, engine room is very well laid out. Uh, everything you need to access, strainers, breakers, seacocks, um, it's all installed on center line down here so you don't have to crawl around to the outboard sides of the engines to be able to access things. So uh, I hope you enjoyed your tour. 
of the Carver C-52 Command Bridge. It's a great boat. If you get the opportunity, uh, stop by and check one out. Uh, you can always visit us on our website on carveryachts.com or stop by your local dealer to see one. Thanks and have a great day.